Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be jumping into Packet Tracer 3.3.12, VLAN configuration. And as when we get done, we're going to be basically separating each of these different PCs so that they can only communicate with their what's on their subnetwork as specified by the VLAN. So let's just jump right into the instructions to get going. We have switch one here and it talks about that we want to um, they want to be able to see what's going on so the do that we do show VLAN brief and currently we only have the default and all the ports are assigned to that single one so what do we have to do well we have to create the VLANs we have to name the VLANs and then we're going to be associating each of those different ports interfaces with the specific VLAN on there. So let's just jump right into it. We do config terminal, jump into the terminal. We're going to now be creating the VLANs. Name, faculty slash staff. Now we can actually still do it in our config VLAN. Uh, we're going to be creating VLAN 20, name of students, VLAN 30. That is the guest default VLAN 99. Name is management. And we've got to make sure to do it correctly, otherwise, the little completion percentage won't count it if it's not verbatim. So make sure to do that. That is one of the big errors that potentially, if you're not up to 100% near the end, that's probably one of the first places to look. We have VLAN 150, which is the voice. All right, now we can exit out and we can do a do show VLAN brief. And when we're in configuration mode, remember we have to do the do to tell it to do it. We show that we have created them, VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99, and the voice. Of course, we haven't done the ports yet, but that's <clears throat> on the next part of it. But what we have to do is actually go into the other two switches, switches two and three, and do the same exact thing. So we start off with our VLAN 10 name, faculty slash staff, VLAN 20, name of students. VLAN 30. It is guest default. VLAN 99. Name management and native. And finally, VLAN 150 with the name of voice. All right. Can I exit out of there? Do show VLAN brief. We have our five different VLANs here. None of them are, uh, none of the interfaces are connected up, but again, that's fine, because um, we'll be doing that next. All right, let's jump right into uh, the switch three with VLAN 10, name, faculty, slash, staff. VLAN 20, name, Students, VLAN 30, which is guest default, VLAN 99, name of management, and native, VLAN 150. That is our beautiful voice VLAN. Do show VLAN brief just to make sure that we got everything. One, two, three, four, five. No ports. We're going to be doing that next. Again, we can now are down to part three of our assignment over here, which is assign VLANs to the ports. And we're going to be doing that on switches two and three because these are going to basically be tr are already configured as trunks so that all the VLAN data from switch two when it needs to go over to switch three is already there. So um, we are going to go in to switch two because now we're associating 
all these different interfaces with the specific VLANs. So how do we do that? Well, we can do the interface and you can shorten it up with int f0 slash 11 because we're going to be telling that in our configuration interface for that specific one, we're going to be switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 to basically turn it on. Whoop. And of course you got to add the space there. So make sure to do that. Now we exit out because we want to jump into the next interface. And we can do, uh, it tells us int f0 slash uh, 18 switch port mode access. And this one is going to be with VLAN 20. Int F06. All right, so interface fast ethernet zero slash six. Switch port mode access. Oh, whoop. Forgot, of course, the access. And switch port access VLAN 30. All right, now, now we are all set on that piece of it. It tells us that we are going to need to jump over to switch number three now. All right, so switch number three, it's the same interfaces. So again, uh, int uh, F0 slash 11, jumping in, okay, switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 int F 0 slash 18 and jump in switch port mode access and we're doing the switch port mode access so that these particular interfaces don't get configured as trunks they are going to be basically a single data interface with regards to that VLAN. And that's why we're doing that switch port mode access. Otherwise, if you didn't do this, this could potentially negotiate to be a trunk and that could cause some issues down the road. So um, again, we're then access VLAN, spell VLAN correctly. Otherwise we're not gonna go shout at me int f0 slash 6 all right switch port this one is 30 all right we have now we're exiting and we're down to our last piece here because we're going to be assigning the voice vlan on our interface up above we're doing the data portions up the here this is all the data pieces but we have if we look at our logical diagram this IP phone here and so that needs to have its special rules where we're interfacing we provide the special quality of service instructions that are associated with the tags those VLAN tags in there to make sure that it's a uh, higher level priority <clears throat> frame that's coming through and so int f0 slash 11 mls qos trust cos and switch port voice vlan 150 and we are exiting now now we are we are done we have 100 percent and that's good 